Hi guys, today we're going to look at Yuki M11. It's a 4K mirror dash cam, comes with 11 inch screen. Uh, these are some of the features that this device has. It has IPS HD full touch screen, uh, Sony IMX 415 image sensor, comes with GPS, G sensor, parking monitor, and uh, besides that, we have uh, reversing assistant, loop recording, HDR. Wi-Fi and as I said 4k resolution uh, Let's see what comes inside the box Here we have our digital mirror As I said it has 11 inch screen In the back we have the 4k front dash cam the angle of the dash cam can be adjusted this way and Besides that it can be extended as well uh, this will be especially useful if your vehicle comes with a, a safety camera. It has a box around it on the windshield. This will help you to avoid uh, the box. On the bottom the mirror has an on and off uh, button. This will turn on and off the digital uh, screen. This way you can still use this mirror as OEM. You'll be able to see what's going on uh, behind the vehicle even if the screen digital screen is off. We have the microphone in here and this is the light sensor. Uh, this will allow the camera to adjust uh, the brightness of the uh, main screen automatically. Uh, on the top we have the, the main power port USB. It has uh, the port for the rear camera. Uh, the dash cam already comes with the SD card uh, in the set. It's 64 gigabytes and uh, it supports cards up to 256 gigabytes and here you can see the slot for the GPS module. The set comes with two rubber straps uh, which get installed this way. You install one on this side using these hooks and uh, the mirror will be, the OEM mirror will be underneath like that. I'll do it shortly. Uh, besides that, in the set we have the uh, rear camera, it's full HD, it can be mounted either on the rear windshield or in the area of the license plate, uh, depending on what kind of installation you choose. This is the uh, rear camera cable, can be disconnected right here. This way it can you provide more options to mount it. Uh, besides that we have, uh, this is the GPS module. And uh, here we have the uh, main USB power cable. And as you can see it also has additional USB slot which can be very convenient. Right now I'm going to mount uh, the main, the digital mirror on top of my OEM. As I said, it's quite simple and straight straightforward procedure. It gets secured like this. And as I said, you can extend the front camera if you uh, need to do that. And this is approximately how it's going to look like. So it's actually quite stable, so I don't think we'll see any vibrations in the video. First I will connect the rear camera cable this way. The wire will go underneath the roof liner to the back. This is the GPS module. The GPS will probably be installed somewhere on the windshield like this. And the wire will be hidden underneath the roof liner as well. And uh, here we have the power cable gets connected like this and the power cable will also go this way. The wire for the rear camera will be hidden over here. This is how I'm going to do it in this vehicle because it actually does not have um, airbags underneath the A-pillar. If you do have airbags underneath the A-pillar, you might have to go this way all the way and maybe take a different route or hide the wire uh, inside the A-pillar as well.
the wire will proceed this way and in the back this is where I will hide the wire underneath the roof liner any extra wiring can be hidden underneath something you have to be aware about when you mount the rear camera is that the rear bracket is actually not tall enough if you do it this way if you mount it on the windshield uh, because of that we had to install this additional wooden block here and currently the camera is attached to this block but this will uh, depend on uh, uh, on your vehicle depending on where exactly you put the rear camera our wire installation is complete uh, right now I will turn on the vehicle and uh, right away we get our rear view image uh, as I said because of the way uh, the mounting bracket is designed I had to adjust the angle of the rear camera almost all the way up which is enough in this case but as I said this is something you have to uh, adjust on your vehicle if you do it this way so this is our rear view uh, image now I will switch to both so the front camera and the rear camera and uh, this is the front camera only on this side we can adjust the brightness this also can be done automatically I'll show you how to turn on this mode you'll have to go to settings uh, I'll have to, to stop recording first and now I can go to settings and I'll quickly show you guys what we have here uh, resolution 4k as I said 3840 by 2160 pixels we also have 2k option and full HD I will leave it at 4k uh, video segmentation uh, so that's how long your uh, video files will be one minute three minutes and five minutes I will leave it at one minute HDR is on uh, speaker volume also uh, currently it's low G sensor is uh, at medium screen save I'm not gonna use that date and time here you can adjust the date and time uh, you can flip the uh, rear screen but I'm not gonna do it right now uh, English language and we have a bunch of other languages as well here it has Wi-Fi support as well and uh, shortly I'll actually show you the app that uh, can be installed on your smartphone frequency is 60 Hz for the parking mode uh, you will have to uh, get the hard wiring kit for that which I don't have right now you can format SD card from here I'll do it right now next uh, the screen brightness that's what I was talking about I will switch it to the automatic mode and uh, you can also set default settings if you want so I'll go back and uh, right now the screen brightness will be adjusted automatically depending on the uh, amount of light outside uh, also we can uh, view our sorry we can view our recorded uh, videos for that yes this is a button and here you can see all the recorded videos so far I'll go back uh, you can turn on and off the sound recording you can take a picture this way and you can lock the current file I believe it saves a 20 second uh, video clip and puts it in a separate folder which won't be overwritten also as I've mentioned before anytime you can press this uh, button below the mirror and this way you can use it as the OEM uh, mirror right now I'll show you how to connect the digital mirror to the application first we have to go to settings and uh, look for Wi-Fi turn it on and here you'll see the SSID 
uh, and the password which is one two three four five six seven eight and this is something that we'll have to look for in our uh, settings go to Wi-Fi and uh, currently it's already connected but when you do it the first time you have to press this SSID and enter the password so after the connection has been done you can go to the YouTube cam app you can download it from the Play Store and here you'll have to press add new camera and currently it's already been done and here we can see uh, that it is connected right now so what you can do from here is press on the U uh, key and this will show you what the camera records right now um, you can do a lot of things on the device itself but why this is important is because if you turn off video recording you can actually download all um, the recorded files to your phone you can press this icon here and it will download it directly to your phone so this is quite convenient and besides that I'll show you guys uh, the settings so you can adjust the settings here as well uh, that's pretty much it for the application uh, right now we'll go for a short drive and we'll show you guys how the mirror records front and the rear video uh, just want to quickly show you guys how it shows the vehicles behind us gives you quite a good picture behind the vehicle you can see all lanes of traffic uh, it's significantly wider than the original mirror and um, as I said you can switch between views if you want now we have both front and rear view uh, only the front view right now and of course you will be using it mainly to see what's going on behind uh, the vehicle And this is how the digital mirror looks like at night. First of all, again, I want to say that the visibility is much better than in the OEM mirror. And because we have uh, right now automatic settings for the uh, brightness adjustment, it actually works quite well and it doesn't blind me at night. And uh, also, uh, because we see all lanes of traffic in all directions uh, the blind spots in this vehicle are pretty much gone 
Another thing I want to add is uh, this vehicle has uh, tinted rear windows. That's why uh, it may look slightly brighter than other vehicles. So keep this in mind as well.